Hey guys, welcome back, Orbom here, bringing you another episode of our PTCGO Live content videos. Now today, people, today, I don't know if you can tell, but I just woke up. Uh, <laughs> so last night I tried to record this Inteleon video, right? I'm gonna tell you all the story. Um, I'm sure we're gonna be doing Inteleon today, right? But let me tell you, man, <laughs> it was not the night to record. Uh, I had two really good battles that both disconnected. One was against Bocephalon, where I'm gonna talk about this soon, but like Kragonol just kind of solos baby lands. The other one is against Dragapult, which once again, this deck does really well against Dragapult. So I was really excited about showcasing that video, but the, both games just connected. And then I took a break, and this is usually like around the evening time when I record, right? So it's about, it's past, it was midnight when I started recording, all right? Took a break, it's now 1 a.m., decided to record another game. I uh, kid you not, flipped 12 tails in a row. So uh, we're gonna have fun today, hopefully not having any of those. Um, <laughs> so good morning, how are y'all doing? Welcome back to the channel, hope you guys like the video. If you do, don't forget to drop a like if you haven't already, subscribe, share all that good jazz, answer a comment question today for a chance to win. We're gonna do five codes because of the frustration that Italian has given me. Uh, so answer the comment question today, which is gonna be, which is your five favorite, <coughs> excuse me, your favorite Final Evolution starter uh, from I guess all games. I really like Inteleon. It's definitely not my favorite, but like, Inteleon's my favorite from like Gen 8. So let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for our lovely sponsors at Guardian Gaming. Uh, remember, if you ever want to buy some codes, 10% off at checkout at guardiangaming.com. So then we're going to continue on here. Uh, we're going to talk about the deck. So we all know what Inteleon does, right? Inteleon's really, really cool. Has a Hydro Snipe attack. Uh, it's a one energy VMAX attacker that can disrupt your opponent. So it's really cool because you can slow down the game, the pace of the game to pretty much your pace um, while you build up to hit max bullet, which is really, really strong against like the top decks in format, right? Because if you think about the top decks in formats, we have ADPZ, which they need two energies to sell the user GX attack. Sure, they have access to energy switch, but like, um, it's still really hard for them to set up their board while you're continuously disrupting them. And then you have a Baby Blinds, which you can Oko uh, with one energy attack. You can also kind of solo them with Cryogonal if you get the Cryogonal early enough, which is pretty good. Uh, Azacian also kind of loses to Articuno, <laughs> especially if it's late in the game and they finally start setting up Zacians and then you just come in and hit them with a Cold Crush and they don't have enough metal patches or manual attachments to set up more knockouts. It's pretty good. <laughs> Excuse me. Dragapult, of course, needs time to accelerate energy, so being able to uh, have a Hydro Snipe is really good against Dragapult. What else is good? Control and Mill. Control seems pretty easy, because once again, one energy attacker, you can just kind of solo them with this card by itself. Also with a uh, Kragonal, another card you can solo Mill with. And there's Peek Around, and you just have to fold against uh, Electric decks because you're weak to Electric and there's not much you can do about it, but that's fine. It's one of those torment. This is one of those decks you take to a torment with like confidence that you're going to dodge all your bad matchups. So your bad matchups are pretty small. And it's pretty good. Of course, you still have like you still have issues against energy accelerating decks like the fringe. Um, uh, what's it called? Rillaboom or maybe like red and blue decks and stuff like that. Those could be kind of problematic if you don't have a perfect game, but you can easily win those games as well. So that's going to be the deck, guys. Which I guess talk about a lot of the cards. We all know what these cards do. You know, a Rangu for the scoop of combo. So he's good for extra damage, just one so that we can hit 70 against uh, Jirachi's on the bench. Of course, one to Dene. I want to play two, so I'm going to try to figure out what I want to cut for a second one, but for the time being, we're playing one Jirachi, uh, or one to Dene, two Jirachis. We're playing one Giratina because it just helps push matchups. In Lightning, it's kind of nice because if they attach a the speed energy, then you can, um, what's it called? You can get rid of that energy, which is pretty good sometimes. Let me check the task manager real quick. Give me one second, guys. Uh, let's see. Um, what else is there? Articuno, Cold Crush. It's just good in a lot of matchups, being able to get rid of energies. Uh, with Articuno, though, I really want to play even more switches. I only have one right now because of space. We have Malolana, we have Switch, we still have Super Scoop Up, so we have ways to move cards around. It's just not as consistent without more switches. But for the time being, it's pretty good. Uh, we have Cold Crush, or not Cold Crush, uh, Cryogonal here. And then of course, the three, the four three line. I really want to play a fourth Inteleon too. We're playing two Pokecom, which is okay. But like a fourth Inteleon, I definitely want to be bad just to find it more often. But I haven't had too many issues getting a turn two, so I don't think it's that big of a deal. We are playing one Capacious Bucket because it's an item way. It's an item based way to get energies, which is good when you have Jirachi, right? So. 
everything else is pretty self-explanatory. We are energy disruption and we are one energy attackers. So super scoop up and crushing hammer are really good in those cases. Uh, everything else is pretty straightforward. So that's gonna be the deck guys. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a couple of games. There are definitely different numbers I want to continuously test in this deck. Uh, one of them is playing four Marnies, uh, just because I feel like this kind of deck thrives on playing four Marnies. But you also really need to take advantage of finding your pieces early. So, you know, give and take for sure. There, there it is. I was wondering why my computer is being so loud. Let me end this task real quick. Hopefully that turns that all off. All right. Now right, we're going first, which is good. Doesn't really matter too much. Actually, it kind of does because we can evolve and attack. So, uh, we can't use Marnie though, so this opening hand is not like the best in the world. But we can at least play Capacious Bucket just to thin our deck out of two, so we have a better top deck. Um, dark, okay, so this is the red and blue deck I was talking about. For some reason I'm seeing this deck a lot, I don't know why. Uh, but he can't use red and blue turn one. So ideally we can just end like this, and he can't do much about it. But yeah, I don't know why I'm seeing this deck so much, but it's not good. <laughs> but it's fine. I'm sure somebody was having really fun with it. I don't really know what changes, though, about this deck now versus later. He has a really slow start. He got rid of Tag All, which means he probably has everything in hand. Uh, with Team Yelgrunt and uh, my ability, I can get rid of two energies at a time, which is pretty good if he can't do much. He also didn't get a turn one Sneasel down. Uh, Cryo's not super useful. Uh, but I really need to evolve this turn, so just in case I don't evolve, we'll get rid of his energy. Plus, the energies are safer in the discard pile than a hand because of the um, because of the uh, dark right prism. Yeah, we didn't evolve like I thought. We'll fetch this other one, and we'll just hit him for forty. On where does it matter? One damage counter here. This is still a two akio. Uh, 40 plus 60 equals, we have the energy in hand though, so we'll put it there. Which means one zigzagoon drop on it into a 160 damage attack is a knockout when he ever evolves. Okay, let's see what we can do. This other tech lets me look at his hand, which can sometimes be useful. Sometimes. He's not using red and blue, what is this? I've never seen Incineroar in this deck. Is it the Dark Incineroar or the one that boosts damage? Uh, once again, very unsure if I'm going to land the... Excuse me. Is this a 62? All right. Uh, still very unsure if I'm actually gonna land the Inteleon. So I'm gonna play the Marnie again. There, okay, we got it. So now we can knock out, probably gonna knock out the Litten, because I'm sure he plays Rare Candy, and that card accelerates energy on its own. So, gonna be kinda safe. We use Marnie every turn so far. I just wanna point that out. Malalon is good in case he does do damage. So we'll kinda guarantee that we draw that next turn. And we'll knock out the Litten on the bench, because that thing is looking like a threat. And there we go. It's great whenever you hit heads. <laughs> Game's a lot easier when you hit heads. All right, what are we playing against? I don't know yet. The Rangu lead is not bad. Everything else is kind of bad though. I was like, I can't do anything unless I get a Pokemon right now. There's a Jirachi, okay, that's pretty good. All right, let's get Intel down. At the very least we can do that. Okay, we have two VMAXs in the deck. We have all of our energies in the deck. What's our research count? We have. Um, okay, we have one research prize, one Marnie prize, which is not good. What's our Dedene looking like? We do our Dedene's prize as well, which is also not good. Okay, well, that's a lot of not good going on. <laughs> so hopefully we can draw one of those five outs. But five is pretty low. It's a pretty low number. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. All right, let's see if we can somehow manage this game. All right, Cobalt is down. What does Cobalt do? What's up, Cobalion? Uh, each of your Pokemon that has a metal energy does not get affected by status conditions, right? That's what it is. Uh, 
Iron Rule you during your opponent's next turn, that Pokemon can't attack. Okay, he's gonna Marnie me, which is excellent, as long as we can draw some shenanigans. Come here, buddy. Give me the goods. And that's not what I wanted. Double Denae would be super good right now, for sure. What is, oh, he's playing Lucario in my metal. Okay, this is a really interesting match. It might take a while, though. <laughs> it might be a lot longer of a game than I would like. Just because, like, the, um, why do you do that? You could have saved that Quick Ball for next turn. There was no reason to play it right there. That was weird. Maybe he, maybe his stuff was priced. Ooh, research top deck is wonderful. Um, all right, let's see if we can take advantage of this. Once again, we're putting the energies back in the hand on the discard pile, which is good for things like Metal Patch. Uh, let me just thin. He doesn't have any Aurora energies or anything, right? Okay, cool. Let's grab, nothing really worth grabbing here. Let's grab Jiraji. All right, let's research. Show me the VMAX. It's not a VMAX. Hmm, what to do? Because I could potentially get O-Code if like everything goes my opponent's way next turn. I'm probably not gonna use this next turn. But, ugh, all right, never mind. Uh, the Dene is prized, so I can't really do anything. And hitting this dude for 40 does nothing, so we're gonna hit Cobalt. I mean, 10 damage is 10 damage. It literally does 10 damage everything right now, so can't really do much about that. Fion top deck is good for my opponent, I guess. Oh, he's not gonna use it though. Okay, cool. Can we get the goods? Um, oh, I probably should have shuffled my deck actually, so I had two top decks. That was really silly of me. Alright, let's put a scoop up back. Malolana does not help me. Let's go ahead and search for an energy, just one. Actually, we'll search for two. We have plenty now. Um, there's a Pokecom in there. I think I want to save those. We'll yell grunt, I suppose. And we'll hit him for, let's take a look at what's in the hand. Quick ball, skateboard mouse. So nothing quite useful yet. There's a switch. Okay, he's gonna start using Drachi. Okay, he top deck that switch too, which is annoying, but that's fine. Oh, he's gonna Marnie me? Please do, sir. We're losing a bunch of energies, but that's okay. What's he gonna put back on top? Like a skateboard? There's nothing really worth putting back on top. Right, let's go ahead and see what we can do. I have played a bunch of these like Zacian Turbo decks uh, lately, and the matchups are very, they're very 50-50 based on like how well both of us can set up because they're both set up decks, right? He's not attacking me unless he has a metal patch. You know, he doesn't even have, he doesn't even have a metal patch he can start using. So is he just gonna leave this active? Because of no energies in this card pile, I can keep putting energies back into his deck. I can also just attempt to 2-KO him. Which might be, ooh. If I can land this, it might be even better. Let's take a look. Very nice. Um, thing is, I'm hitting him for zero damage. But I can snipe the Oranguru twice, which would be an extra prize. So I'm hitting him for 100. So if I can get a Zigzagoon soon, this could be really good if I can get a Zigzagoon very soon. Uh, oh, that gets, that's what gets me a Zigzagoon next turn. So I can actually take three prizes very soon, which is good. Uh, so we're going to attempt that, actually. Yeah, we'll attempt that. Because then we just attack this dude again, and then we drop the Zigzagoon on him with the Quick Ball in hand. The reason why I'm not doing it yet is because... Uh, oh, wait a minute. He only has 100 damage on him. No, he has 110. Okay, cool. The reason why I'm not doing it yet is because I don't want him to play Malolana, but he might just play it. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. All right. I was hoping he wouldn't play it. I was hoping he wouldn't see the line of play, but he did. So here we go with the concerns and the issues. Uh, we're back in the square one. We're trying to just disrupt his energy. Maybe it was the right play to just try to disrupt the energy instead of doing what I did. Because knocking out a Ranguru is kind of pointless if I K 
can't take multiple prizes, but this is okay with me. I will take this. Um, avoiding avoiding it is even better. I'd ra unless he has boss's orders right now. He was just getting rid of Fionn. Which he can't because he has Malalana. Okay, this is good. I like this. Unless he's gonna grab it again. Oh, there's the Meowth. Ah, oh, the boy. I'm not even sure if Meowth is even good in these decks, just because like, why do you even not need to bother? Alright, so losing that is not that big of a deal. He's probably playing that Jirachi combo, though. Okay, we knew we had Giratina. Let's, uh... Yeah, let's just put this back. Another Inteleon. We don't really need this. I need cards, though. I can just grab the Dene, which is not ideal, but might be what I have to do, because I'm kind of in a really bad position if I don't get... Oh. Is it gone? Is it prized? Is it prized really, bro? I need to start playing to the day because this is this is getting actually this is actually getting absurd. I could bench this to get rid of all three energies and hopefully that helps for a little bit. I'll wait. I'll wait. I also want to knock these things out in case he does have that play that I was talking about earlier. I need prizes. I need some. I need something to do. Marnie's good. My reason why I'm waiting is because like if he damages me this turn, and I whiff my super scoop ups, it'll be worth. Well, and there's a Marnie himself. Okay, so that's in the bottom now. I was really hoping to get the Dene. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you guys, but we have more energy, so this is good. Uh, but we don't have anything to do other than that. He's going to interpret sword though, because he can't attack me this turn. Uh, let's see if we can get a Marnie of our own. Well, let's see if we can land some of these actually. Very nice. One more? No. But we can stop an attack. Let's see. Boss's orders, huh? Hmm. Could be good. Could be very good. Uh, he needs multiple metal patches for a chance to attack me. How many has he played so far? I don't think he's played any so far. So multiple metal patches definitely exist. Mallow and Lana definitely exist. But I will Hydro Snipe, I think. He only needs one metal patch though, but in multiple ways of switch. What's his switching outs? He hasn't played many. Uh, I think right now we just have to attack him. I can boss's orders, pull up like Lucario Melmetal to force a switch. Um, that feels not super good either. I really just want to try to knock this thing out. It's just really risky. What is in range? Oh, I was trying to right click that, but whatever. I was only doing 30 damage to it, so. But I guess I could pull it up and drop a Zigzagoon on it and take a knockout. I was really hoping, so he's just gonna break blade. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so now we're back into the whole now we're scared position. Uh, we can boss orders and not, oh, we can't even knock this out because it's taking minus 60. Uh, I need to find an out here. It's not an out, bro. Why do you keep showing up? Uh, <laughs> okay, so I'm assuming he has just a bunch of uh, metal patches in hand. One hundred and thirty, one thirty. Assuming he gets a metal patch down, um, one hundred, uh, two hundred twice. Yeah, so we're gonna want thirty damage on this in case he gets a, a frying pan down on it later, which I don't think he will. But he's probably gonna take prizes here, which is why I want to keep that considered. Hello, research. Let me see the Dene. Oh, you're not the Dene. Okay, so at least we have something. It only took forever. I don't know why it's getting so, it's becoming such a problem. Having this high HP is really good though. There is another build that we're gonna try uh, on stream later. It's gonna be like a, a giant charm plus Malolana because only for, for Malolana to be effective versus ADP, you need to have giant charm as well. And it's only effective on that one turn, but that one turn is usually all you need. 
Uh, it's only effective on the term they hit you with uh, with ADP's attack to do 180. Because if you use Malalani, you still have 60 damage on you, which means they will set up the dudes on the bench, right? The dudes on the bench will hit you for 230, um, which means you're still getting knocked out exactly, right? Because 230 plus, uh, um, I believe it's... Well, they're hitting you for 260 because they ADP'd, right? They use a GX attack. So 260 plus 60 damage on you is still 320, which is exactly a knockout. So with Giant Charm, you can offset that. I don't really want to preserve anything. I guess maybe this. We also he also whipped the knockout. Also Malalana is so is such a godsend. Um is it though? Because it'll hit me for 230 again, so it'll still be a knockout. So I don't think it's a godsend at all, actually. We'll pick that up, uh, bench it again, and we'll just play research here. Hopefully we can find the other VMAX so we can actually play this game. Uh we did not find the other VMAX. I could play Super Scoop Up right now just to try to avoid my opponent being knocked out, or me being knocked out, which is what I'm gonna do. Hello, you. Hello, Sunshine. We can do that, we can do that, we can do that, we can do that. And uh, I'm gonna just play Zigzagoon now because I need to get this garbage out of the deck. Hitting this dude for only 100, 100 twice is knockout, um, 130 on that is knockout later with boss's orders, uh, not like it really matters too much, but I'll put the damage there. We will max bullets, put it on there because that's the like, thing that's going to come active and eventually attack me. So if he doesn't find a dude that is in range of being Oko now. There's a switch, let's see. Mal and Lana, as always, being really annoying. He's hitting a lot of damage. It's only plus 40, but like, it's pretty good. All right, so we should win with the boss's orders, right? Dope. Well, that was a really weird game, but <laughs> we got there, I guess. Hello. Yep, there we go. All right, well, then we're going to call that a video. Uh, there's definitely a lot of changes I want to make to this deck so far. Because um, it's just a matter of seeing what works and what doesn't work. But, like, everything in the deck works. It's just, like, now we have to make sacrifices. Like, what should we not play anymore versus what should we play? Um, because things that I still want to do in this deck that I took out but I want to go back into doing is four Pokecom because we really need to be consistent. Two to Dene. Um, and four Yelk Run, right? So that is one, two, three, four, five cards. We'd have to cut five cards to do that. Uh, I also want to play two switches, but that seems less important. So we have to choose what we can get rid of to make that work. Uh, Malolana has been useful versus like the grass decks, uh, Rillaboom and stuff. But like even so, it isn't, it's not like really important. So I'll probably play another version of Inteleon soon. I really like this version, so this is kind of like this is kind of like the all-inclusive version uh, for sure. So be on the lookout for more Inteleon videos. Inteleon and Dragapult are the two decks I really like playing right now. So I'm gonna be playing probably a lot of those videos. Of course, I'm gonna have all the other videos you guys want to see me play as well. Uh, like ideally, we're gonna play Boombox soon once I get those cards. Um, there's some other decks we want to play. I know people said they want to see me play Phalanx, so I can probably build a Phalanx deck just for fun. You know, let me know in the comments below what you guys want to see. Sorry for the short video, but I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Also, like the video.